Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the J&D Fishing Channel. We are here today at Henlo Bridge Lakes in Henlo, and today we are going to be doing some silver fishing. I've got one of the boys with me today. It's Daniel. Daniel, say hi. Hi. And funny enough, as we look around the lakes here at Henlo Bridge, Nathan um, is doing his Rano or Rano filming uh, up at the the cabin just a little way up. So we'll see how they've got on. They've got up a good few silvers and they're off to one of the bigger lakes. But let's see how we get on today. It was a beautiful day, but a bit blustery. So we found a sheltered peg at the far end of the small lake. We set up our equipment using short spinning rods and decided to float fish despite the conditions. We plumbed the depth of the pool in front of us and to our surprise found it was over 10 feet deep. This caused us some problems with the distance between the hook and the float and the light line, but it wasn't long before we were soon into the fish. First fish on the day, it's a little dace or, yeah. Lift him up a little bit. There you go, hooks out. There you go, second fish. Yay. Okay, so you've done well. show you that one because he slipped out the hand and back into the water. But that was a tench. Welcome. There you go. 
attention. Huh? Yeah. Wonder if it's the same one. It looks a bit more gold than this one. Again, he is very slimy. Hooks come out. Hopefully. Whilst just throwing my hook back in the water, uh, whilst get sorting myself out, these little roach, these little baby roach, they're taking it on the drop, and he has, he has, bless him, taking that a little bit further than perhaps he should have done. Go. Another nice little silver, beautiful little roach. There he goes. So it's fair to say maggots are working. Um, I've got some ground bait, which is uh, maggot and fish meal, Sonia baits. Um, and a few little ground balls in there. That seems to be just keeping the peg going for the time being. So we'll keep going. Well done, Daniel. And again, this is a little, I'll tell you what this is. This is another species. Uh, this is a little baby breed. This one. Bream. Nice little catch there by Daniel. Oh yeah, he's, he's a snotter, so get him in. and um, youngsters really uh, it's been quite productive it's small fish I know uh, Nathan and his mate have been catching they've had a couple of uh, f1s a little carp and skimmers up there but um, this is surprisingly deep this little pool here is um, it's gonna be at least 10 feet deep I've put my rod in I've plumbed it up and um, it really is quite a deep one so there's a lot of line billowing around with really light line for this kind of thing it's difficult to cast in so we're just dropping in and they're pretty much taking it on the drop so um, we're just trying to be out of the wind the wind is quite um, the wind is quite uh, blustery today so uh, we're gonna keep going Daniel's had a couple of successes we're gonna keep going see how many we can get All right, we've got a this one's taking a little bit of line, so I don't really want to lose this one. Bump the fish off. Oh, this is a good one. Look at that. Well done, Daniel. 
way. Thanks, mate. Let's just have a look what we've got here. Oh, now this is a, a bigger tench. Now these are quite um, slimy, so I'm going to try and show them to you. you in the net this one because uh, he's really quite slimy and I don't want to drop him but he's a good stamp of, uh, of tench there that's a good that's a good fish and they're getting bigger nice fish it's getting back in a very productive day at this point the session was going really well and we were having a lot of success catching the fish Daniel and I were enjoying a beautiful day out fishing and we were hoping that it wouldn't be long before we made it into double figures Baby roach, let's have a look then. Bring him around this way. Turn this way. Yep, just bring it around this way for me. That's it. Let's have a look at what you've got. Greedy little roach. And there. Uh... Turn your hands so they, see, they can see the fish. That's it. Beautiful. Nice shiny. Yeah. We'll cut that bit out on the edit, Daniel. I'm going to bring the camera over. This looks like a biggie. Oh, has he come off? Has he come off? Oh, never mind. How do you feel about that, Daniel? Look. How do you feel about that? Sad. Never mind. Oh, it's only a tiddler. Go on then, lift it up. It's a rud. A rud? Yeah, look at the red fin. Yeah, is its bottom lip sticking out further than the other one? Yep, that's a rud. That's a rud, okay. Let's just get him, get him squashed. Let's have a little look, Daniel. Look at me. Can you try and hold him properly rather than around the throat? Again, we'll edit that bit out. Nice. Nice rod. Okay, gently. There we go. 
Urban Warrior. Hmm? Urban Warrior. Well, we've had a good few fish, and now it's time for a well-earned cup of tea. Cheers. in a pandemic so he's right elbow bumps all round we'll keep going see if we can get another one little baby tench. Nice. Okay, just 
stiff the rod a little bit. Digging, lift your rod tip up. Okay. No, you've you've got to let a bit of line out because your float is right on the end there. So, good boy. Right. Lift that rod tip up. Rod tip up. Another little F1. Okay. I'm just gonna Lame just gonna leave him there while I put the camera back. Hold the net for me, please. Got it. Good boy. the last one right up to the camera look where it is that's it he's a bit fatter than the last one but he's a nice f1 okay. yeah it's not a bad fish that back in the net back in the net that's it nice one get him in the good thing is nathan there's what? another one on the uh, on the end of mine but he's snagged uh, daniel do you want to see something yeah. i'm not gonna start crying because i Let's see if we can deal with the one that's snagged. Let's see if he's let himself out. Yeah,
lovely little roach. Look at that. The red fins. Beautiful. After a fantastic day's fishing, we decided to pack up and pop round to see how Nathan and Oliver were doing on the main lakes over at Vincent's. We're just going to have a look at the rainbow boys and what they've caught. So, let's go. It's a lovely park, isn't it? Yeah. The river. Perfect for pipe. Here they are. The rainos. What you've caught? What have you caught? That's another eight pounder, Daniel. Okay, nice. So here we are, we've got Rayno fishing here, Nathan and Oliver, Dad Tim, Kim, cameraman. So we've had a good day, boys, bit of a session. And not only that, they've uh, decided that they've bought merchandise for their channel. Let's have a look. Quite good to put it on the back as well. Look at this, smart as you like. Let's see yours then, and the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's room. Five seconds. Right. Let's get him in. Yeah. Is that on the method, is it? I don't really want to touch him. Oh no, it's a snotter. Alright, it's a little bit. A slimy snotter. I'm not going to hold it up because it's literally no. so slimy. I'll just hold it up in the net. Alright, let's go. I'll hold it. Go. Fishing. Sub I to our channel. You should sub to JND. Do you know why? We caught two F1s in about 10 seconds. So, guys, we've had a really good day today. Um, it's beautiful here at Hendo Lake. It's been a little bit cold, but the sun's been out and um, we've had a really good time. We've had a really good session. What did we catch, Daniel? Uh, Caught some baby green, some tench, rope, um, rod, rod, F1 carp, pretty much everything, and tench, decent tench in there as well. Yeah. And um, I've got a photograph of a really decent perch that some lads on the lake just behind us caught. We was actually quite jealous because it's one of the biggest perch I've actually seen uh, live real beautiful stripy perch big must have been a beast two pounds we're going to round off today just having a cup of tea to warm up before we go home um, we're utilizing the Rayno fishing boys cabin who are staying over tonight um, wish them well they've had some good catches as well and they're over on one of the bigger lakes um, and they've had some decent carp so for now um, we're going to say uh, good night and see you later but as I say, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. We're doing really well on Instagram, so thanks to everybody that's supported us and follows us on Instagram. We'd love to see some of you move over and uh, support us on the channel. Uh, and a big shout out to everybody that's subscribed so far. Thank you very much. It does help us. We do enjoy making the videos for you. And hopefully we'll be out a little bit more, even though the country's in lockdown. So come on guys, keep fishing and let's not let coronavirus beat us. What do you reckon?
okay. Well, that's us for now, and uh, we'll see you soon again on the JND Fishing Channel. Take care.